As many of you know, I uh, recently purchased the Hewlett Packard 34401A, six and a half digit volt ohm milliammeter, whatever. And it came without leads, so I thought I would. This is really not indulging myself. I ordered a set of uh, red and black. 36 inch long leads from Probe Master. Now, they're not expensive, that's why I say it's not really indulging myself. And I hope uh, I cut on the flap, way I won't endanger cutting any probe leads. So you can tell right away they're not Chinese origin. As a matter of fact, they came from uh, El Cajun, California. I've never been there. I'll set this paperwork aside. Um, by default, these test leads seem to be 48 inches long. I chose 36, but there's no difference in price that I can tell. A nice American made plastic bag, or at least American specification. And so I, I truly feel that there's no better lead on the market at any price. A set of leads like this would have cost $18.90. As I say, uh, 36 or 48 inches long. It's immensely flexible silicone wire. I elected to get this little kit of accessories for uh, $10 extra. And I really just wanted these hook type grabbers. Now I know I can buy these from China. Uh, for probably 50 cents a piece. Now, these are extremely sharp. I mean, they could do damage. So this screws on. It's gold-plated. This is a really nice... I would have paid $5 a piece for these. So let's look at what ProMaster sold me. For $29, I got the probes. I should have left them 48 inches. That's not here or there. And I've got these accessories. And I've got, I guess I had them. I think these come with the probes. Each end, they're fully soldered. And look at this. It's an 18 gauge silicone lead with 440 str individual strands in it. The average Chinese test lead is 22 gauge. Just the leads with the shrouded banana connectors would have cost $20, say. If I order an equivalent generic replacement for Fluke or uh, Keysight, I would start at $50. This is just a fabulous deal.